Hello, my name is Richard Hamilton and this is an introduction to my false graphic project, The Windrush Generation. The Windrush Generation is the collection of people that arrived to live and work in the United Kingdom between 1948 and 1971. Uh, after the Second World War, there was a lack of uh, people in the country and as a result of this, there weren't enough people to fill all the, the job roles that were required. The Windrush generation is some of the collective of people who arrive from the Commonwealth to fill these positions and work in the United Kingdom. The project has grown throughout my time working on my Masters. So it's gone from a project where I focused exclusively on documenting the Windrush generation and completing interviews with each of my subjects to an ethnographic study of all things Windrush, their culture, their surroundings um, and the artefacts that they tend to collect throughout the, the, um, their home. I've begun to look at the work of other photographers such as Keanu Smith who focuses on the fringe cultures um, in America so uh, the Compton Cowboys a collective of African Americans whose primary method of transport is the horse um, these images document not just the cultures but also the behaviours of underrepresented communities which I believe my project is also focusing on. Environment is key in his pictures as it helps to tell the story uh, and I believe that the environment is also key in all of my images so I've began to focus on the recurring artefacts that you'll see throughout the household, the family portraits, the original paintings and artwork, the leather settees and sofas, the glass cabinets that contain uh, the good glass um, and good cutlery. My hope is to humanise these people in the images and familiarise people uh, with elements of the community and society that they may otherwise be unaware of or unaccustomed to. So in this module and in this assignment, the images will be accompanied um, by text explaining or highlighting key elements of my discussions with each of the uh, people in my photographs. In the full exhibition that's planned, the uh, text write-ups will have a bigger role and will be a major factor, perhaps with audio clips playing in the background or the text in itself will be part of the display. The presentation of the images will remain somewhat consistent. I want to retain the um, uniformity of them. So although each of the people will retain their individuality, the colour schemes and the familiarities that I have noticed in the houses I also want to highlight. I try to have large images uh, with minimal text in the uh, print version of my uh, my project highlighting each person's story uh, some of the obstacles that I've come across while working on the project is how um, secretive some of the people are I've had quite a few knockbacks where people have agreed to allow me to capture them but then have changed their minds at the last minute uh, my project involves me being in the house of my subjects for a prolonged period of time so I understand them being nervous and apprehensive to invite me into their home and to discuss their lives with essentially a stranger. Um, all of my images are um, taken in as candid a way as possible and although I'm aware that they're constructed portraits, my hope is to retain some uh, form of authenticity and reality with, in my images. Uh, a lot of the time the subjects have asked if they can clean up the house or move things and I've tried to communicate that I just wanted a candid, informal conversation that I would also document with imagery to show how each of my subjects uh, is really living. I believe that photography is a social transaction of sorts and in order to allow someone into your house and allow them to capture and share your images, they have to trust you, they have to have a belief that you're not going to um, 
put them in a position that they wouldn't otherwise like to be in or share their images uh, in a manner, show them in a light that they don't want to be shown. So I'm trying to appease these people whilst being authentic 